This is a letter from a fan. I don't get many letters from fans, mostly they send me email. But this letter, as you can see, is really striking. It's got a pretty striking stamp, but that presumably is just from the US post office. But it has got a large patch of a silvery metal here, which it claims is palladium. And here it has got what it claims is gold. And if you turn on the back, it's got something that looks really quite convincingly like copper. And it is then sealed up with sealing wax, the material that was originally used for sealing up letters. And it's pretty heavy, or heavy for a letter. And inside is a letter with quite tiny writing, beginning, Dear Professor, and with a lot of text, which I won't read you all of it, but it has one bit that I really like, which says, My friend John and I have affectionately nicknamed you Platinum Sponge after noticing your endearing hair. And then, thank you and your colleagues for providing the citizens of the earth, that's you, such wonderful body of work and working for the public good. So you felt, realise I felt pretty warm. And then I turned the letter over and look what's on the back. On the back are a number of United States coins. And then there is a model of a tiny floppy disk, which says that it is 92% silver and 7.5% copper. And then a piece here which says it's 99.99% gold. And something here which says that it is 96% platinum. Now, these are pretty heavy. So if they're not gold, silver and platinum, they are some quite dense metal. And it's extraordinary. We've had all sorts of presents from people, but never such an array of expensive elements all in one go. This came through the post? This came through the post. Do you think it's real? We haven't yet tested them, but I think they're real. The only way we can test them is to take them off the letter and put them in one of our X-ray photoelectron spectrometers, which might slightly spoil the letter. It's rather like this. Here are grains of platinum. This is probably the only time in my life that I will be able to play with platinum in such a casual way. But the beauty of gold as a chemical element is that it's very unreactive.